Hi, I'm Chris Peach. I'm an assistant professor of computer science, and I have the wonderful privilege of being part of this great team working on AI for education in the context of a Hoffman E grant. So sometimes when people hear AI in education, they might think we're going to have fewer teachers or machines will be teaching us. And there's two responses to that. First, we've just learned that the human connection matters so much. AI just can't replace the sort of mentorship and change in identity you get from interacting with another person. Teaching and learning is one of the most social things we do. It's a defining characteristic of humans. Even if AI was fantastic, it just doesn't really hold a candle to the sorts of impacts real human beings could have. But on the other hand, we've learned something else during this pandemic. Ourselves, schoolhouse.world, we talk to a lot of people where they get volunteer teachers to come join in the process. And we all collectively learned how astounding it is the magnitude of people who want to teach. So to that extent, our work has really been to augment this social learning experience. How could AI make students better at learning and teachers better at communicating knowledge? And then also, how could AI augment a collaborative experience between uh, students and teachers? At the start of Shelter in Place, my fellow teachers and I were about to start a new term. A few of us came together and thought, how could we make this transition an opportunity to give back? We weren't doctors, we couldn't help in the hospitals, but we were teachers. Maybe we could bring that as some good towards society. Because we had spent decades honing our teaching craft, and because we'd already started the process of developing useful AI tools for students, we were ready to offer a pretty wonderful high quality experience. So we ran a course, we called it Code in Place, but it really taught the first half of our introduction to programming at Stanford. And we were able to use tools that could help students get feedback, AI techniques that could help teachers get feedback on their own teaching process. And we could do it in the context of human-led, community-centered education that we believed in. Interesting thing about this research is often we would have just done this cycle where we think about the research and then maybe in 10 years we would think about how we could deploy it. But because of the pandemic, we deployed immediately. We did two things. We gave feedback to thousands of students to an exam where they would have otherwise not given feedback. We gave feedback to all these students, 16,000 pieces of feedback. 90% of them got feedback from AI, 10% got feedback from humans, and they actually rated the AI feedback as more helpful. On the other hand, we had 2,000 teachers who we had to train. For these 2,000 teachers, we of course gave them the standard teacher training that you'd expect, but also we had developed an AI system that could look at their process of teaching students, take their transcripts, find the moments where they'd revoice students, find the moments where they had missed what a student had said, and use that to give them automatic feedback on their teaching. And this led to things like them asking more questions, revoicing what their students said more, and the students who are the beneficiaries of this liked the class more and were more likely to find sections engaging. So we had two great stories of deployment, actually helping students get feedback they need and helping teachers improve their own craft. So what did the Hoffman grant allow us to do? You could have imagined a world in which the pandemic had hit and each of us were siloed in our own different parts of the university. You know, I was sitting there thinking about artificial intelligence, my friends in the School of Education were thinking about their role in education. We were scrambling and we would not have been able to form the team that we needed. The Hoffman Yee grant just happened to have started a few months before the pandemic hit, so we were already in active collaboration. It was just the right combination of cross-disciplinary people in the right room at the right moment, when we couldn't have taken a moment to team form. Our dream for 10 years from now is a symbiosis of a moonshot course and also moonshot support that augments learning. When you're learning online, there is likely hundreds or even thousands of people going through the exact same experience somewhere around the world. Can we leverage this great potential for collaborations to make 
the future of learning less lonely, more collaborative, and also to give many more people the chance to play that role of teacher. That's going to take a lot of AI augmentation. We have to make sure things are safe. We have to put the right pair of people together. When people are learning and teaching together, we have to help them become better learners and teachers. But I think we have the ingredients. And I think that in 10 years, we could move towards that joyful education that's augmented by AI, but really human-led.